All right, here's the video on the software, how the software works. You're going to begin in Illustrator. Um, remember, if you are doing a cutting and etching or engraving, you will use vector paths and raster image. The vector paths are required for the cutting process and anything else will uh, engrave. So in this video, I am only talking about engraving with raster images. Uh, I'm not talking about vector cutting. So for that, you'll have to see a separate video. This video will specifically address uh, the project where you will be um, engraving a flash drive. So you will see in my Illustrator file here, the uh, turn the rulers on, you can see my artboard is currently three inches by one inch. So it's one inch tall, it's three inches wide. You want to be certain that that is the same size as the uh, piece of material or that you have at least that amount of room starting in the top left corner, that amount of room on your piece of material. In Illustrator, you go to the file menu and you're going to use the print function. You'll see this window comes up. Be certain that epilogue laser engraver, epilogue laser is selected. Then down here in the bottom, you'll click the Setup button. Again, make sure Epilog Engraver is selected. Click Preferences. And you want to get to this window. This window controls all of your cutting options. This controls your laser engraver. And there's six different areas. There's Resolution, Job Type, Raster Setting, Options, Piece Size, and vector setting. So to go over that one more time, file print gives you this window, setup, preferences. When you look at this, a couple of things you want to look at. One is your resolution. For your flash drive, a 600 DPI resolution is preferred. If you select a low resolution, 150 or 200, you will have a very grainy, almost you could say pixelated look to your image. Um, while this is a little bit different than pixels per inch, this is dots per inch and it has to do with the resolution of the actual engraving process. So I'm going to leave this set to 600. Another thing to note is the higher the resolution, the longer it will take to engrave. So a 150 resolution image, uh, you can see the little preview here, it looks a little dotty. That will engrave very quickly, whereas a 600 resolution image is going to take a little longer for it to engrave. Job type, you can select between raster, vector, or combined, which is raster and vector. For the flash drive, we are only engraving so we will not, we will select raster, we won't, we won't need vector or combined. Then our raster settings, these are settings for the laser itself. I would first like you to test on a piece of cardboard. Settings for cardboard are going to be 100 speed and, oh, I don't know, 25 power. We're going to test that out. Um, you will find for different materials, the, these settings are going to change. For this process in particular, the laser, the flash drive engraving, I will have a sheet here on the, either on the laser engraver or on the table next to, to me here that will have the specific settings for the uh, raster settings for your project, for both the flash drive and your test piece of cardboard. Engrave direction has to do with will it start at the bottom of your design and work up or will it start at the top of your design and work down. If you are engraving a piece of acrylic, for example, like in the, the sample that I showed in the setup where you have a piece of clear material like this and you're doing engraving, this leaves a real fine dust and it gets kind of funky. If you start at the top and work the way to the bottom, 
by the time you get to the bottom, all that fuzz and crud from the engraving has kind of sucked up this way because it's going towards the back of the machine then it goes up the, the vents, up to the ventilation. So it's drawing it this way. If you have some, some crud from the engraving, it kind of covers the design. So I find that if you're engraving a piece of acrylic like this, if you, if you select uh, bottom up, it works a little better because it starts engraving down at the bottom of your design, works its way up to the top, and then that crud doesn't get swept across your design. For the flash drive, top down is going to be fine. Image dithering has to do with the kind of the pattern that results as you engrave. Standard is going to be fine for our flash drives. Over here in the options little panel, there's a box for autofocus. Uncheck that. Whether you're doing your flash drive or the test piece of cardboard. If you're doing a test piece of cardboard like this, you can use the autofocus, that's okay. Um, However, it's, it's a good habit to get into to manual focus because you will need to manual focus for your flash drive. So practice it with the cardboard. So I uncheck the autofocus button. Center engraving is an option where you can change if you, if, when you get to the point you're watching the video on the machine and you've got the red dot coming from this. You can change this in this blue setup window so that it, that red dot starts in the, the middle of your piece rather than starting in the top left corner. So for this, I'm going to leave that unchecked so that my design does in fact start at the top left corner and that's what the red indicator uh, identifies as my starting point. So I'm going to leave those two boxes unchecked. Over here where it says piece size, this one is critical that this piece size matches your document or your artboard size in Illustrator. So if I look down here, I can see that my document in Illustrator, that's my artboard, is three inches wide by one inch tall. So three by one, that needs to be these dimensions up here. So horizontal three, vertical one. If these are not correct, when you get over here to the laser engraver, you're going to set your origin point to here, and your design is going to start etching over here somewhere. So make sure that these numbers are correct, and they match your document size, and you have that space available on the piece of material that you're engraving or cutting. Vector settings is the last option here, the last little panel inside this window. Because we're just engra uh, engraving or etching in this process, we don't need to change anything on there. In fact, you can see it's grayed out because up here we selected raster. So at this point, I've set my resolution. My job type is raster. I've got my raster settings. My piece size is 3 by 1. That matches my artboard. And then vector settings I haven't done anything with. I can click OK. At this window, I click Print. Now, in this preview window, you'll see it doesn't show up correctly. There's a lot of white space here. It doesn't match my artboard size. So this is a little bit of a glitch here with this. You have to click Setup again, click Print one more time, then this looks correct. See how it got rid of all that white space when I went Setup, Print the second time? This is correct now. You can see my document size is 3 by one The media size that it's going to etch on is 3 by one I've got three inches by one inch on here I can engrave on. So all three of those things, I've got the, the trifecta, all those line up. Now I can click the print button, uh, making, sure that the, oops, making sure that this machine is on. If this machine is turned off and you click print, it's going to go into cyber nowhere. <coughs> So I click the print button on the computer, it will send to the machine, look over here, it will read out on the screen the name of your file, so mine was just called 
my Illustrator file, if you can see up here, is just called Untitled 1. It says it here on the screen, Untitled 1. Close the lid. I want to make sure my vents are on. And because in this case I'm working with cardboard, I turn on the compressor, I can press the go button, then this will begin engraving. When it's done, this will beep, it'll say done. At this point, you can lift the glass, remove what you watched. Here's my Viscom image. You can see it's been engraved in that piece of cardboard. Uh, now looking at this, I could maybe set my uh, power a little higher, you know, maybe it's a little light, I want it to be a little darker, you can adjust your power and, and speed settings that way. Uh, but this looks pretty good, it shows me where the image is, it's a great test, uh, just on that piece of cardboard. At this point I could move on to putting a flash drive in here if I had a really large flash drive uh, and engrave that. When you're finished, turn off the air compressor. Uh, if there's a line of people behind you, you can turn, uh, or you can leave the vents on. If you're the only person using this machine for the day, make sure you turn the vents off when you're finished. You can even turn the machine off if you'd like. And that's the, the video for how to use the software. If you haven't yet, make sure you watch the video on how the machine is set up, uh, the focus is set, and the home point is set.